Hello again. You should have, I'm hoping, received a new packet, a third big envelope um, from the school on Monday, which would be yesterday now. Um, if you did not, it's okay. It's on its way. I made one for everyone that does math with me. And I added some things to it that I wanted to use right away just because I felt like as we wrap up fractions, they would be helpful to us. One thing that our math program does not really teach is the adding and subtraction of fractions. And it's actually a very, very simple thing. Um, but I feel like I just need to mention it. I'm sure you'll do more of it next year. When you are adding and subtracting fractions, and I think I mentioned this in yesterday's math, um, there was one where I could show you this. Um, if the denominator is the same, so you have 5 eighths minus 2 eighths, they're both in eighths. If the denominator is the same, then you can simply subtract the numerator. So the numerator in this one is 5 and this fraction is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. The answer would be 3 eighths. You don't do anything with that denominator like subtracting at 8 minus 8 or you just don't do that and when you're adding fractions it would be the same I'm putting up another page from your packet um, if you have 1 third plus 1 third you have 1 plus 1 is 2 thirds now what I'd like you to do is just stop the video and um, check um, not check do these on your own do these two pages, they say test. I am not using them as a test, I'm using them as practice. Do them on your own and then start the video again and check to see how you did. They're very simple and I think after you do a page of addition and a page of subtraction, you'll get it. By next year, you'll just need um, someone to refresh your memory. So I'm going to then just very simply go through these answers. Nine tenths minus six tenths is three tenths. 7 twelfths minus 6 twelfths is 1 twelfth. 13 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths is 4 fifteenths. 7 sixteenths minus 4 sixteenths is 3 sixteenths. 11 minus 8 is 3, so 3 fourteenths. 7 minus 3 is 4, so 4 thirteenths. 13 minus 8 is 5, 5 sixteenths. 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 tenths. 11 minus 4 is 7, 7 twelfths. 14 minus 6 is 8, 8 fifteenths. By the way, it doesn't matter if the line is straight across or at a diagonal. You see, I'm used to doing it at a diagonal. Either one is fine. 5 minus 2 is 3 sevenths. 4 minus 1 would be 3 sixths. 12 minus 3 is 9 fourteenths. 9 minus 7 is 2 ninths. 5 minus 4 is 1 sixth. 15 minus 14 would be 1 sixteenth. 16 minus 2 would be 14 twentieths. 9 minus 2, 7 elevenths. 4 minus 1 is 3 fifths. 12 minus 9 is 3 sixteenths. So if you have any questions about that, ask. But I think that one speaks for itself pretty well. I'm bringing up the addition page. Again, very much the same. 6 and 2 is 8, 8 ninths. 3 and 4 is 7, 7 eighths. 3 fifths. 3 fourths, seven tenths, four sixths, six ninths, five sevenths, four fifths, seven tenths, nine twelfths, and we can do them up and down, of course, same deal, same thing, six and three is nine, nine tenths, Two and one is three, three fifths. Three and two is five eighths. Four plus two is six sevenths. Three and two is five sixths. One and one is two fifths. One and six would be seven eighths. 
three tenths, six elevenths, six ninths, zero plus one is just one, one fourth, five eighths, four fifths, six ninths, and seven eighths. Now, life with fractions won't always be quite as simple. Um, probably next year, but in fifth grade for sure, if not next year, you'll run into fractions that you need to add together or do subtraction with that don't have the same denominator. Then things get a little tricky, -er, and there will be some extra steps. But for today, we will keep it simple and just kind of introduce that concept to you.